The guards seem to know about Rainhill. And after a search of the house, <clears throat> the body of some beggar was found stashed in our basement. Whoa! The guard sent for Carriers. Who's that? Who is an investigator for crimes here in Bruma. Oh. In minutes, Rainhill convinced Carriers that Brayden was a vampire. But he wasn't, was he? The evidence looks bad for Brayden. Well, of course it does. Duh. It was obviously planted here. Yeah. Why would he stash a body in his own house? That's ridiculous. Yeah, what a retard. And another thing. The guards are making a big deal out of no one seeing Braden out in the daylight. Mm -hmm. Of course that's the case. Why? He works at night and has to sleep during the day. Oh. Why does that make him a vampire? God. It's all that Raynal character. Yeah. I don't trust him. The thing that bothers me the most is that I swear I've seen him before. Probably because he was here. Of course, he says he's never been here. Well, he has Look, been, because he killed there him. There's much more to say. Please, help me clear my husband's name. What? You said there isn't much more to say. That means there is some. I have no idea where he'd be. Oh. Just find him and make him tell you the truth. Oh. I swear he's a liar. Hey, you. I know I sound desperate, but I know I'm right. Oops. Whoa! You're back. Whoa, Tampa, Tampa, Tampa. Look, he died near the drawers. Maybe he was trying to get something out of him. Let's have a look what he's got. Hmm, some clothes. This looks suspicious. He's already dressed, so why would he be needing clothes? What's Excuse this? Me. It's a basement. Oh, clunk. Oh, look, another dead person. Oh, the bloke. Obviously, something dodgy was going on down here. Lady, I think your husband was into men and secretly doing blokes down here. Wait, did I just... Bloody hell. Just eat them. Just eat them. I need to be more careful about what I steal. As in, don't steal anything, please. Oh. Sorry, I didn't steal Excuse nothing. Me. What? Oh, you're back. Yeah, whatever. Hello. So, any new revelations in your... Mm, investigation? Investigation? Yeah, that. Yeah. I'll warn you about one thing. I understand you wanting to help Berlin by checking up on Raynal. Yes. We have it on good authority from officials in a neighboring city that Raynal is what he says he is. Oh. So I'm not sure what you're trying to prove. How annoying. I am only allowing you to do this investigation and... I use that term very loosely, because Erlene is so distraught. With power. I'm sure Erlene is very upset. You're sure? She'll be safe, though. There's no Erlene doubt. Has confirmed with us that she isn't infected. She's crying. Her accusations that Rainil is lying is not surprising. Yeah. At this point, she's so upset that she'll say anything to deny what really happened. I suppose if I found out a loved one was something as... Horrid is a vampire. I don't find any excuse not to believe it either. I'm a vampire. Oh, I'm not. I never will be. Where is he? What are you looking for? Rain or Draylus. Oh, fudge it. The Gerald view no. is on. Keep up the good work, I suppose. Yeah, thanks. Where's he gone? Someone stole the body. Oh. Well, I guess we gotta ask people. Oh man, let's go in here. See if any of the leaders know. Oh, it looks like we're not going to get anything interesting done this session. Wait, this isn't where I want to be. How are you? Healthy as Cecia. I do a little of this, a little of that, and a I serve of, the nine. A little Praise of them. Um, a little of the old. Uh, Take care. Pish posh. What? Oi! Oi! Well, I'm Gan Lucef. Castle mage and healer. Heal me. Actually, I'm not much of a healer. Oh. I can blow the meat off you, but Oi. I'm not much good at sticking it back on. Don't do it. Oh, he's talking about blowing my meat. Bye. Go away. Oh, my God. That was rather unexpected, really. Good old puns out of nowhere. Oh. <sighs> I guess to end this session we're going to be asking around town. What can I do for you? Raynal. Yes, the vampire hunter. 
As far as I know, he just showed up recently. Oh, wait. Apparently, Braden Lyrian was one of those. Yeah, I've already he heard that. Such a I've already heard that. Bye. I'm Jantus Brolus. Oh. I'm the illusion trainer. The illusion trainer. The only one. Good day. The only one in the world. Well, you know what? A good place to get information is usually a town. I mean, a tavern. So that's where we're going. Spare a coin? No. I'm saving up enough for some medicine. That's not what you sounded like. I'll go on then. Thank you, kind sir. You're moldy. Blessings of the new upon ye. A new. Ow! Oh! Spare a coin? Go ahead, please. What? No, nothing. You too. Let's just go to the tavern and see. Greetings to you. See if anyone's got any information here. Because this is Information Central. Hello! Hi! What can I do for you today? Give me some info on Braid Reno. I usually don't give out that kind of information, oh. especially to people I don't know. Looks like we gotta do this again. So uh, right. you that's a bit I accept not bad. <laughs> I'm not your ship. Don't. That's please. fine. Was that supposed to be a not bad? No more. I'm not, you're not bad. No right, more. Right now, see. tell me. I usually don't give out. Oh, that oh. I'm listening. Money. I'll get you something. Will it? I usually don't no, give it won't. out that kind of information. It won't. I know I may be out of line by saying this. What? But I think the city guards may be wrong. So do I. It's hard to imagine Braden was a vampire. Why? I could have sworn I saw him outside in the daylight before. You just... Unless he just got that disease very recently, yeah, I'd say they were mistaken. Probably did. When I heard Rainil killed him, I didn't know what to think. But after your visit here, I'm beginning to wonder. Oh, the plot thickens. I usually don't... Oh, for fludge. Yes? Here, have a bit more then. See, was that hard? Yes, actually. I usually don't. Oh God! We'll see. See. Yeah. I usually. Certainly. See. Yeah. Was. I usually don't. Yeah. You. Every little bit helps. Certainly. No. Raynell's staying in the last room down the hall upstairs. Thanks. Here's the key. Thank you. I always liked Braden and Arlene. They were a nice couple. I hope you get to the bottom of this, because oh, I, I don't believe he was a vampire either. I'll get to the bottom and the top. And I'll jump him and stab him in the neck cavity. What? There is no cavity in the neck. Well, I'll stab him in the neck and make a cavity. I've entered Reynolds' room. I should carefully search the place for anything suspicious or ludicrous. Huh. Oh! Galaborn's journal. Oh, I've discovered a small journal in Raynor's room. It was a group of adventurers. Oh, I found an artifact. Hmm, I agreed to stash it in a cave. Okay. I need to find out more about Galaborn. Olaf may be able to help. You can read this if you want. I've never actually read the books in this. I'm sure it's pretty interesting. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I have that please? I don't know if it's worth anything, but... Hey. What can I do for you today? What do you mean today? I've already been here. So, who's this Galaborn person? Galaborn? That's odd that you should mention that name. Yeah, it is. Raynal told me that he was the last vampire he hunted. Well, obviously Braden was. Yeah, that's right. Somewhere in Skingrad, I believe. Oh. He said he tracked Gelborn down and killed him. Not going there. That's apparently why the guards trust him so readily. They had gotten word from Skingrad City Watch about Rainil and his so called accomplishments. So called. Huh. Uh, nothing else I can tell you about him. Oh. He comes and goes and doesn't talk to people much. Good. Just look for me if you need anything else. I need a... Dunno. Don't tell me I have to go to Skingrad. Nope. Well, I guess we're gonna go and talk to the investigator again. Oh, 
Oh man. Hey. Hello. Oh, you're back. Yes. So, any Yes. Galaborn. How do you know about that? What? Oh. Ah. Too many people don't know how to keep quiet about official matters. Ah. Very well. Tell me. The Skingrad City Watch informed us that Gelleborn was killed by Reno not too long ago. Oh. Gelleborn was a vampire as well, obviously. Yeah, obviously. I disagree. What do you mean, you disagree? I mean, I don't That's agree. A bold statement. What proof do you have that Gelleborn was not a vampire? Well, I haven't got his teeth in my pocket. Oh, I have his journal. I. I don't know what to say. He could be faking. It all makes perfect sense No, now. it doesn't. Why else would Raynal have removed this journal from the crime scene in Skingrad? Called... Oh. I heard no mention of a key either. I didn't. It must have been I did. removed by Raynal from Brayden's body before we arrived. Probably. To think that two innocent men were killed. Ah. Uh, and that I'm responsible for one of their deaths, I... I'm speechless. Well, obviously you're not, because you're talking. You're still talking. Search for him in the city. You're still talking. Meet me at Olav's tap and tack in one hour. I don't really want to. Run! Do you have any more questions? No. I know I sound desperate, but I yeah. know... Yeah, you do. I got nothing to eat. You've got us nothing to eat. Wow, they call me Rooftop Explorer. Do do do. They call me Rooftop Explorer. Do do do. What's that? Ah, uh, don't mind if I just sit here by the fire, do ya? Man, what the hell? Something exploded across the room. You didn't see it though, because it's too dark in here. Oh, there you are. Just before ah. I arrived here. I received a report from one of our scouts watching the roads. <laughs> Why is that? Raynal was spotted heading west out of Bruma. The scout tried to follow, oh. but lost him in the mountains. Oh. The only cave to the west that comes close to the one described in Gelleborn's journal is Boreal Stone Cave. Hmm. That must be where he's headed. I'll go check it out. You must get there before he acquires whatever artifact is being kept there and makes his escape. Okay. I'm keeping the city guard in Bruma, as Raynal doesn't know we're after him. Oh. If he sees a guard, he may panic and run. He won't panic or kill him. You're my only hope at the moment. Good. Please, you have my authorization to do everything you can to bring him to justice. Yay, violence. If he won't surrender, I think you know what to do. Kill him. Hurry. I fear you have a day at the most to stop him. Oh, crap. Well, I've got to be going. No Please time hurry. to talk. Raynal may make a break for yep. the open road at any yeah, he may make a break for it. Right. Well, we've got something rather spiffy to do. Run! Where is it? Let's have a look on the map. It's all the way out there. So, I'll see you back at that alien place. But there's no point cutting it out. There's just no point. Bloody... Cutting the bloody travel times, whatever. Right. I will get back to exploring this place later. I just gotta do this first. Give you something to look forward to at the start of the next session. Let's find that cave. Don't worry, it won't be far, so there's no point cutting it out. Besides, it's still got like a minute anyway. Plenty of time to... Yep, there we go. Where's the entrance? There. There's usually goblins outside. I don't know what we've got. But next time I'm going in there. Oh! 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 Chopped his ass off! Oh! Next time we're going in Boreal Stone Cave to find this Braden Drayless. I mean, whatever his name was. So, see you next session. Thanks for watching. And, oh, shears, I've arrived.